What is meditation? It is creative relaxation. This is a special form of relaxation that sets in motion an inner development which is incomparable in its range and power to fulfill. How do we normally think of relaxation? As an interval between activities? Recharging our physical and mental energy so that we have renewed strength to get on with our activities and goals in the world. The relaxation that comes from traditional meditation is more than this. It dispels inattention and cloudiness and reveals a new vision of our true nature. The realization is that our true being, our I am, is not limited by the qualities of the mind and is infinite. This inner world is lit by the tranquil light of the deeper knowledge, not of passing events, but of the eternal reality. There is a mystical poem which says, My world is a free world of peace, love and light. Do you want to come in? Then come in and be a sovereign. Put off the dress of convention. Take off the shoes of recognition. Put on the crown of silence. Come in, come in. This suggests that conventional values based on enhancing our ego have to be left behind if we want to go more deeply into our own being. Many meditation texts include the word I, such as I am that perfect consciousness which knows no coming or going. When meditation practices refer to the I or the I am, they are not pointing to the individualized self, but to something in us that goes beyond personality. The expression I am in the meditation texts of the non-dual teachings refer to the ground of pure being our real existence. And this reality is one in all, one existence or being that underlies the many forms that fill the world we see around us. The wonderful truth waiting to be discovered in all of us is that this reality this I am is the source of peace, love and light. Being free from differences and limitations, its nature is infinite bliss. Meditation teaches us how such a deeper reality may be uncovered in our experience. This direct knowledge is the goal of meditation. Our progress in meditation has many stages of growing understanding which we need to assimilate on the way to enlightenment. Gradually we become accustomed to the idea that this deeper reality is the foundation of our experience at all times, 
our true self. And there is help at every stage for being the source and foundation of all. Our higher self is also the source of inspiration to energize and guide us on our path to inner freedom. For inspiration is not only about creating some new invention or work of art. True inspiration also reaches us in the inner world as peace and tranquility, as the light of higher understanding, as the recognition that our true being, our I am, is without a boundary or limit. So when we speak of receiving inspiration, it's not necessarily something expressed outwardly through our personality. It may take the form of an inner assurance and certainty, a deep tranquility and inner satisfaction that needs no outer cause to produce or sustain it. This may manifest as equanimity in the face of the various ups and downs that meet all of us in life. So this inner transformation is the result of two factors. First, our own self-exertion, the efforts we make in meditation and other practices. Second, the help we receive inwardly from that which is not part of our individual store of inner strengths, but something far greater that sheds its influence on our inner being as a gift from a higher power deep within us. At any moment, one who meditates with sincerity is open to this higher form of help that can bring sudden upliftment and fresh insights into the way forward on our path. We said at the beginning that meditation is creative relaxation. What it creates is inner serenity, a peaceful clearing in the mind, a real opportunity to withdraw our attention from the usual cares and concerns that often dominate our thinking. Our practices such as breathing exercises, visualizations and meditation on a text are all powerful methods which help to quieten our thoughts and create this interior clearing. In this way, we pass into that deeper and creative relaxation which has its source in our true being, our I am. As we said, meditation is a partnership. First, there are our own efforts to approach the inner source of peace, light and freedom. And these efforts will be helped by the power that emanates from that source in the form of light and inspiration. Are we talking about something that is remote from us or separate from us right now? Not at all. It couldn't be closer. It is nearer than the nearest. 
being our true self, the I am, which has to be there, has to be here, for any further expression of being to take place. The expressions of our being such as I speak, I think, I act, are transient. But the I am, in its pure nature, is eternal and infinite. This is what we are reaching towards in our meditations. If we reflect on these ideas, they'll be established in our background understanding and become our own. Then they will help us when the time comes to put aside thought and concentrate on the meditation practices that point to the light and infinity of our true nature.